Morena boys and girls, neat to see you again. Now today is Wednesday, the 22nd of September, and we've been talking about the letter P. Can you see the P? There it is. And we've got popcorn popping. P -p -p -p. That's how a P sounds. If you've got some more P words to add to our list, send them along, and I'll put them on our list. Let's take a look. Here it is. It's getting very long now. We've got pig, plant, plan, pink, Peter, Paul, police, pets, popcorn, party, pasta, pumpkin, potato, pirate, pile, pen, pencil, purple, pants, Pull. Lots of those were from an ace, which is great. Panta, pot, post, piano, poster, postman, P, pod, and pull. Lots of P words. If you can think of any more, send them along. It'd be great. Okay, now today we're going to have a look at a new book that I've got, and it's called How Does It Grow? Seed to sunflower. Who's growing sunflowers in their garden like this? They're so neat, aren't they? They're really big, great big flowers on them. Let's have a look. So it starts off with, how does it grow? The sunflower grows from a seed. Inside, this seed is a tiny plant. The seed also contains food that the tiny plant needs to help it grow. The sunflower seeds start to grow or germinate. That means they break open in the springtime when the weather is warm and the soil is damp. After a few days, a root pushes its way out of the seed. The root grows down to the ground and holds the new plant into the soil. Can you see that? It makes it so it can stand up and doesn't fall over. The root takes water and minerals from the soil. So it gets water with its long bits like this and they, it sucks up the water and takes good things out of the soil to help the plant grow. A small shoot pushes the soil and grows upwards towards the sunshine. The little plant is now called a seedling. That's a seedling there. Then the stem starts to grow. That's the stem. The stem supports the plant. It also carries water and minerals from the roots all the way up. Next, the leaves start to grow. Here's the leaves. The leaves use sunlight to help make food for the growing plant. The plant sometimes grows as much as 30 centimetres in a week. So that's as long as a ruler in a week. It's pretty fast, isn't it? You can almost see them growing. Look at this. To grow big and strong, the sunflower needs air, water, and lots of sunshine. Sunflowers can grow up to three meters tall. That's one and a half times as tall as a very tall person. So that's twice as tall as your dad, at least. Pretty tall. Look at this sunflower way up here. And she's standing on a step to reach the top. Sunflower plants are fully grown after about three months. Is flowers in bloom. The sunflower plant makes flowers. What looks like a large flower is really many small flowers. The flowers in the middle are like short little tubes. The tube-like flowers at the edge each have a yellow petal. The sunflower needs a lot of sunshine. The head of the sunflower turns to face the sun all through the day so it can turn follow the sun all day. So it needs that sunshine. This is about the seeds. Oh look, that one's died off a bit. Sunflower seeds come from the flowers. As the flowers die, the petals fall off, but a seed begins to grow inside each flower. You can see the new seeds when the flower goes brown, after the petals have fallen off. And there's the seeds. The seeds fall to the ground. 
they lie on the ground until the following spring. Then, when the earth is warm and moist, the seeds germinate and start to grow again. This is good to eat. Sunflower seeds are used for food. They are very good for you and they help you grow strong and healthy. Roasted sun seeds make a delicious snack. Sunflower oil is made from the sunflower seeds. It's used in cooking and in salad. Now we're all eating their lunch, aren't they? Wonder if they're having sunflower seeds for lunch. And that's the end of the story. So it's a true story, isn't it? It's not just a story they've made up. This is a true one. So if you want to, you can plant some little seeds and watch them grow. Watch the little shoot come up and maybe one day you'll get a great big tall sunflower that would be neat wouldn't it okay your challenge for today is to go and see if you can get some paper and some pens or pencils and draw a beautiful sunflower or any flower in your garden that you'd like to copy sound good okay kakite boys and girls i'll see you soon see you again probably tomorrow um we'll be back at preschool with a few children tomorrow so It'll be very exciting. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.